What's up and welcome back to Geometry Dash. Guys, I'm a little afraid of this demon. We are playing Ditched Machine by Jazor and I already have 12%. But if you look at my attempts, over 100 already. This is one of those demons where if you don't know what to do, you will just end up dying over and over again. So I will probably use practice mode very soon. And then because here... Yeah, this is as far as I got, and it's just, it doesn't seem to stop. It's not only the beginning that is this insane to memorize. Of course, once you know what to do, I still don't know how to do that exactly. What I do is I listen to the beat in the background, and I jump to the music. I don't know what the exact timing is otherwise. The beginning is so difficult, you have to, you have to tap so fast. Use those two blue jump rings, and don't use the yellow one, and then go into here. There we go, so I have to jump, and then use the blue jump rings, and don't use the yellow one. I think I will get to maybe 14% or something, and then I will use practice mode, because guys, what the hell is this? No. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop here and just enter practice mode. Which is always sad, because we have this generic melody in the background instead of the awesome demon songs. Let's save here. Okay, good. Even without the music, I was able to do it. So what exactly do I have to do? Do it like that, and then jump immediately, and then I'm here, all right? Use the yellow one. And then I have to jump, and then use the gravity switches like that. Oh, don't use that one. All right, that was a mistake. I have to time it correctly as well. So it's not all about memorization. All right, so jump, jump, and then don't use that one, don't forget. But I have to jump over the mini spike, like that. Okay, that's a good save. That's a trap, so don't jump. With the jump ring, jump like that instead. Was that a trap or was that just my stupidity? Okay, it was not a trap. Oh my god, I- whoa. And that is a trap. Okay, this is insane. Yeah, this is absolutely insane. That was not right. I have to go up all the way. And then don't use the third one. There we go. And then I have to jump here. Don't use the jump ring. Oh my god, what is that? Wait, what? Um... Excuse me. Wait, you're not serious. I have to control both. How is that possible? Whoa! Oh my god! I am blown away, what is this? I have never seen anything like that before. Okay, so I have to mainly focus on the ship. And if the ship survives, the cube survives as well. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe if I only focus on the ship, it's possible. I'm going to try that. So only focus on the ship. I have to jump at first though. That's the first thing and then control the ship. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Th I love this. This is such an interesting idea. I remember when I complained about having to control two cubes or two balls, but a cube and a ship. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. I love it. That's a good save. And then I have to jump. Jump again. Oh! That was wrong. Oh, I'm still in the ship. I did not see that. I'm still in the ship, so I have to fly up and then fly down. So can I just hold? I can, and then let go. Okay, that's not too bad. There we go. So I have to time it correctly as well. And that is a bad save, damn it. Can I still do it one more time? Perfect. That is a very good save, so jump up. And we are already at half, so it's not a very long level. It's actually very short, which is good. I don't want to have to memorize all of this for too long. Is my ship in a gravity switch or not? 
It's not. Okay, so I have to... Oh my god. The key to success really is to only focus on one, pretty much. And then jump again, as soon as I enter that portal. And then hold. And then again, you have to control both. This is such an insane level. Ah, okay, and then I only have to control the ship, because the cube is in an auto part. That is so relaxing, compared to what I had to do before. What is that? Just the flying? That was a bad save. Yeah, so only focus on this one. Oh, and then I have to follow the line. I actually love that sort of level design. I really like it when a level does that, when you have to follow a line. Okay. What is that? Double UFO? No, a ball and a UFO. So I have to jump two times. And then I have to... Where do I have to get the ball to? Alright, and then... I have to... Yeah, jump immediately and then jump again. Like that. And then I have the UFO up here and the ball. Okay, and then I have to hold jump, I guess, so I can get over the spike. And now we have traps again. That was probably a trap as well, it was. Then I have to go down. Oh god, a maze where I have to remember the correct ways. That was apparently the right way. Nice. That was the wrong way, so I have to go... Like that, and then up. Oh, it's wave, okay. Wait, that's wrong? Why is there a cross? I have to go down? I have to go down, okay. And then it's a ship. Oh, careful, that is very, very tight. And then I have to go into the circle. This time it's not a trap, this time it's actually the correct way to go. And then a UFO. Damn it, okay. I have to be very careful, and that's it! Okay! I'm actually not too sure how difficult this will be. 241 attempts for practice mode is pretty intense, but most of it is just learning the level, and once I learn it, I'm pretty sure I can beat it in a short amount of time. Alright. I practiced a lot, and... Let's see how fast I can beat this demon. It's still fairly difficult, but I do know all the strategies now, I have my own tactics, so let's see. Okay. And... Yo! Oh my god, I almost died. No, that was the first trap, okay. I really can't talk, this is such heavy memorization, this is way worse than Theory of Firepower. I'm not sure if it's going to be harder, but the memorization is definitely more intense. Alright. No! Damn it! This is gonna be fun, I can already tell. Oh my god! I know what to do, but I just get so nervous and I forget what part comes at which point, and then I just die. And this beginning is so infuriating. Most of my deaths come from the beginning, because it's so difficult to do. Nice. Oh my god. Alright, that isn't too bad. Okay. No! Oh my god, that was so close. There we go. Oh my god, I forgot my strategy. I forgot what to do. And hold down. No! I was too slow. Yes! Oh, nice! That is so good. Okay, calm down. 
Oh my god! I could do this! Jump, 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 jump! Okay. No! Oh my god, I went the wrong way! Are you serious? This is so simple. This is the easiest part. And now... Yes? Oh my god! And down. Okay. Go down again. Flying. No! 91%! I'm so close! This isn't even frustrating. Not at all. This is actually really exciting. Come on. Yes? Oh my god. What? No! No way! No way! No, no, no! I was so close. I was right there. Jump, 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 jump. Yes! Oh! That was it. That was the successful attempt, finally. Wow, ditched machine. Wow, that was such a fun demon. Like, seriously, that was so much fun. I love that. 1046 attempts. That was so much fun. I love the dual parts. I love the ideas. The difficulty was amazing. That was such an awesome demon. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.